Thank you for having me, first off. I ultimately wanted to do the expo here because here in Little Rock, we don't really have a large base or a group where we can express ourselves as naturals. If you go to larger cities like Atlanta, they host a World Natural Hair Show every year. We don't have anything like that, so we have to travel outside the state just to uh, get more natural hair products that we don't have here in Little Rock. Um, to meet with stylists that could help us with our hair. So I wanted to bring something here locally for our naturals and even those who might be considering being natural can experience and get education on natural hair and wellness. Oh, well, I wish I could give you an answer like, oh, I wanted to embrace my natural roots. But honestly, I had several friends and family members who were natural, and they would tell me about their different styling options with, with natural hair, and I was, eh, no, I'm not going to do that. But about four years ago, a really good friend of mine who is a natural hair blogger um, was discussing her natural hair uh, journey, her health and wellness journey. And I saw her pictures on Facebook, and I said, I want hair like that. <laughs> I was in love with Tracy Ellis Ross. If you don't know her, she was yes, Joan yes, off a of Girlfriend. Yes, and I said, honey, if my hair can look like that, I want it. So I said, okay, I'll try this out. And what I found is that um, it was a really test in patience. Because growing your hair out natural, you know, is a, really a real test in, in your patience. And I just said, you know what, let me go ahead and try it. And the whole time throughout my journey, I learned so much about myself. I learned so much about my hair, embracing the beauty that is natural black hair. Mm -hmm. And I haven't looked back since then. Okay, well, not to sound vain, <laughs> but I'm asked probably on a daily basis, oh my God, how'd you get your hair like that? How long have you been natural? Like, I feel these questions on a daily basis, and I realize that just being here in Arkansas, we really don't see that too much. Mm -hmm. You know, we see what you see in larger cities, a lot of weaves, wigs, and all that, and there's nothing wrong with that. Everyone... Do you, is what I like to say. Do you, whatever works for you. But I found that there are a lot of women who want to go natural, but they're just scared. They don't know who to ask because they don't know too many people that are natural. So they want to talk to people. They want to ask someone who is natural. And if I can be someone's natural hair idol or support system, I'm willing to do it. I think we all should have healthy hair. I want people to know the versatility that is in natural hair. I can go straight one day, go back to curly the next day, wear braids, or whatever. I just want women to have naturally healthy hair. You know, if you had asked me this about two and a half, three years ago, I would be giving you a run down of all natural hair ingredients, <laughs> everything you see on, uh, <laughs> you know, everything that you would see, all natural, all natural products, the henna and all that. But I realized you have to work with what's, what works best for you. What works for me may not work for somebody else. So I try to keep it as simple as possible. Um, I get my shampoos. Unfortunately, we don't have a Trader Joe's here in Little Rock, but I get my uh, shampoo and conditioner from Trader Joe's. I like their Nourish Spa shampoo and conditioner. They're all natural. Um, I also like the Tea Tree Tingle shampoo and conditioner from Trader Joe's. Um, let's see, as far as deep conditioners, I, di I like Aussie Moist, and that is a, a mainstream product that's marketed towards Caucasians, but it works really good for my hair, and other naturals that I've talked to have used it as well, so Aussie Moist is a really good product, and um, keeping it simple with the shea butter and coconut oil. If I have those, I'm good to go, but my holy grail product, Eco Styler Gel. Y'all ain't never used Eco Styler Gel. <laughs> You are missing out, okay? If I have Eco Style Gel, I can do anything with my hair. So Eco Style Gel and the Shea Butter, I'm good to go.
I would say it's probably about even. Honestly, if you think about how much money that we spend as African American women, actually, I would probably say it's probably less. Because if you think if you think about you know not to say the average, but a lot of black women you know may like to go to the hairdresser on a regular basis. Say you go twice a month and you're paying thirty five dollars a month. That's seventy dollars a month you're spending mm -hmm. on getting your hair done. I might spend seventy dollars on hair products in a year, realistically. Because I can buy certain stuff in bulk. The Eco Styler gel costs like $4. Mm -hmm. and it's a huge tub of gel that will last me about a year. Um, but in regards to um, having someone professionally style my hair, like I have braids right now, yeah, I spent over $100. But um, most people will spend that on one styling session getting a weave, <laughs> okay. you know, for, for one style. So I would say it's probably less money, but as far as time, you definitely will spend more time with natural hair than you will <laughs> with a relaxed hair. Well, you would definitely get to see um, stylists who specialize in natural hair. You're definitely going to see educators, um, doctors who specialize in hair growth who will be discussing um, the side effects and the harms of chemical relaxers. You'll also see um, personal trainers because, you know, in our community as black women, a lot of us are really unhealthy simply because we don't want to go work out because we don't want to mess our hair up. So we'll have personal trainers there with, that will be discussing why it is so important for us to get back in health and fitness. Nutritionists there to talk about the best foods for you to be eating for the proper health and growth of your hair. So um, those, those are some things. We'll also have natural hair models, um, maybe even a few celebrities that might pop up who have natural hair and they can discuss their hair growth journeys so a little bit for everybody if you would like to follow me um, I do have natural hair videos on YouTube my channel is distraction 10 that's D S T R A C T I O N the number 10 and I'm also on Instagram same name on Twitter the same name and on Facebook as Gina G E N N A last name Neely N E E L Y